Well, good morning. So no knocks, Cracker Barrel got even busier. Uh, then we went to Walmart this morning real quick. Walmart was packed too, even though no overnight camping allowed there. So who knows? But we are down uh, kind of like downtown Flagstaff, I think. And we're gonna check out a coffee shop and then hit the road. We got about an hour drive, but we're gonna take you guys down scenic 89A, show you the beautiful sights. It's definitely something worth checking out. Like we said, we were getting coffee with the fire, fire Creek. Uh, you know, Brittany's thing. She got to try coffee in all the new places. Uh, we just did a quick walk around Flagstaff uh, downtown area. Really unique, really cool. Uh, everything looks a little pricey, definitely tourist, but uh, really pretty little downtown area for sure. But as we stated, we're just gonna be hitting the road. So it was just a quick walk about, that's why we didn't film anything. But overall, Fire Creek. Really good. Uh, what'd we get? Uh, it's called Dark Sky, so it's like a peppermint mocha-ish thing, but it's not overpowered or anything, so I like it. So we recommend it. But now we're heading the road and going headed towards uh, Page Springs. But we're going to take you on beautiful 89A. in Sedona to show you guys the turquoise arches. It's the only McDonald's in the world that doesn't have yellow arches from what we've read. I could be wrong, drop it in the comments, but that's what it says online. It's here in Sedona, they have a turquoise arches. So it's not the golden arches, it's the turquoise arches. We made it to our destination. We are here at Page Springs uh, RV Park. Our friends, Mike and Joy, booked two sites for us here. And this place is an oasis in the middle of the desert. It's 115 out right now, but in the shade, it's really comfortable, probably around 90. And we have a river on this side and a brook over here on the other side of our rig. So as you can see, we got our rig right there river and then back this way you'll see there's just one more spot right here walking through the sand right now and look at over here beautiful oasis look at that Flows right down, kind of on a little peninsula. We have Starlink up on the roof of the rig. Wilson the Echo is connected to the world. We actually wouldn't mind not having service, really, but grandparents, you never know. So we like to have connectivity there. And we also have our Travato out on a rental. So 
need to have a little bit of connection just in case the renter has an issue and needs to call us. But we are going to wait for them to get here, hang out, and they're taking us somewhere that they say is amazing, delicious. It's a restaurant. I'll leave it a surprise for you as well as us. So when we catch back up with you, they'll be checking out this restaurant. Good morning. So last night we uh, went into Cottonwood, Arizona, and our friends Joy and Mike took us to Bocce Pizzeria. It was excellent. So good. I had a uh, the Pomodoro. Yep. And you had a. Start with a C. Don't remember. <laughs> so it had an egg on it. Hers had an egg on it. It was really <laughs> cool. And mine was a Pomodoro. Really delicious flavor. But I want to show you guys something. Uh, the Echo Nesters sent us over this right here, this awesome cutting board. And we'll put the link down to their webpage. Uh, this fits in the Revel, the Travato, and the Echo. So if you're interested in one of those, reach out to the Echo Nesters. Look at that. Down in the uh, description. And uh, let me get this. <laughs> there we go. So I can see. And uh, you can reach out to them, get yourself one. It fits perfect, no this movement. This is our other one. Crappy old one. It's crap, it gets moldy, it's disgusting. So if you want one of these, please reach out to them. They are amazing quality and we cannot wait to cut up some vegetables on here. But anyways, we are headed to check out a breakfast spot in Cottonwood and then we are taking you all up to Jerome. So come with us, enjoy a delicious breakfast and check out the historic city of Jerome on the side of the mountain. a delicious breakfast highly recommend uh, maybe not sitting outside yeah <laughs> try to get a seat inside get there early but we are now in Jerome so let's uh, take you guys about explore a little bit so our first stop in Jerome is the famous sliding jail so back in 1905 a little bit of uh, rain, mudslide, push this, jail, all the way down from up there. It actually came out of the basement, the house above it was wooden, and crept down this hill, and ended up just up there on the road above us, and then they finally pushed it down here to get it out of the road, out of the way. So 
there's a newspaper called the New York Sun and they declare Jerome to be the wickedest town in America. So that's how it got the nickname. Check out this view. So, steep hill, but right there is the Jerome Grand Hotel. If you're familiar with Ghost Adventures, they've been there. This place is supposedly very haunted. It is a gold mine for Brittany and I to stay the night and record that sometime. But that's not tonight. The Grand Hotel actually sits where the original hospital in 1917 sat. Uh, there is one known picture of when they built the second hospital. They were actually right next to each other and then they had to demolish the first due to ground stability. But this is actually the fourth iteration and it was built in this kind of weird, uh, unique spot up on top of the mountain because of the ground being so unstable in the previous places, the previous locations. So they finalized this spot because the ground is pretty stable here and it sat here from 1926. But originally in this area was 1917, the original hospital. So of course, you know, Ghost Adventures, as we said, have been here. Some other uh, crews and a lot of visitors report activity because of this being originally in a hospital and on the place of, you know, what is four hospitals throughout history. So a lot of death, uh, just, you know, a lot of, a lot of spirits supposedly hanging out there and if you're into that kind of thing this is kind of a uh, iconic spot that you must visit but on that note it is extremely hot it's 103 plus degrees up here we're all getting uh, pretty exhausted pretty burnt out by the heat so we're gonna get back to page springs We made it back to our campground and we hope you guys enjoyed coming along to Cottonwood and to Jerome. And also, I hope you enjoyed those drone shots because Neil almost lost our drone and had no idea where it was. So, there's that. So we're going to end this video here and Mike's just cooking up some Nathan's. Nathan's hot dogs and we've got some onions getting grilled up in there too. So we are going to enjoy a nice meal with Mike and Joy. So we hope you guys have enjoyed coming along on this video and if you have please remember to give us a big thumbs up. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm and if you haven't already please consider subscribing to our channel. We would love to have you come along with us on our journey. And we will see you guys next time. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see.